First, I should start from something which has become very close to my heart. Male Vadakam. Actually, when I reached yesterday night, I had made in my mind that uh, first thing what I will do is I will learn Tamil. Because, because when you communicate and the receptor receives what you say, then you are more comfortable and you can say things which you want to say. Otherwise, it is very difficult to communicate what is in your heart. You can communicate from your tongue, but you can't communicate from your heart unless you communicate in that language. So now from today, after taking this oath, by the grace of Almighty, I am part of this Tamil family. And I would love to settle here after my retirement. It is a great day for me for many reasons. Four or five days back, Shankrachar of Kachi Kam Kotipitam visited my residence at Allahabad. And he blessed me for coming to this place, Chennai. So I got that signal that a divine personality has come from south and uh, definitely God has given this signal that you are welcome to Chennai. It is not the institution which has done that. It is the welcome sign given by God. Second is that as a lawyer, I settled myself in Puttaparthi. In 2006, I got settled in Puttaparthi and I have my house in Puttaparthi, Andhra Pradesh. Today is Satya Sai Baba's birthday, 23rd November. So that way, these two things have given tremendous signal that, yes, I am being welcomed by the Madras, people at, of Madras and Tamil Nadu. What I have given at Allahabad, I can't say because it is the bar, it is the people who will say or judge what I have done. But as a satisfied soul, I have come to this place. And I ensure all of you that in times to come, in times to come, I will give my best to you. And I feel very proud of being part of this bench because today I, my brother's one brother's birthday was there and I got this opportunity to see all of my brother judges and sister judges. It was a very warm uh, interaction, very warm interaction. And uh, it was a feeling that I was not uh, new to this place. It, I got this feeling that I have been to this place. And actually also, I have been to this place. In 2006, as a lawyer, I visited Madras High Court. And Mr. Shriram Panchu was a lawyer here at Madras. He was a good, good friend of mine, very senior to me, but very good friend. So I stayed at his residence, Mr. Shriram Panchu's. He was in that Ayodhya case also. He, he accompanied me, and I had a very good round of the High Court in 2006, December. And I still remember that there was a museum, and in that museum there was a scarlet robe. I think scarlet robe was there. And Justice Karju was, I think Justice Karju had gone to Supreme Court, but uh, that robe was, that, uh, that in the museum was integrated by Justice Karju. So I have an association with this High Court. In, it, started, it began from 2006. And I had a, I had a very, uh, this thing, uh, since childhood, I always wanted to learn. I feel that I have come to this high court, which is the most learned high court of the country. <laughs> I, will, I will be interacting with people who are very learned people, very learned judges. I stand nowhere. I have to learn from my brother judges, my sister judges. And I will learn from the, this rich bar, 
rich bar, a very learned bar. Because uh, today also I, I see that I have heard and I have seen myself also that in Supreme Court, the people from Tamil Nadu, they rule. All, all big lawyers are from Tamil Nadu. So that way I feel very benefited that I have got this opportunity to, in this point of time of my life, at this stage of my life, that I will have to learn something more which will enrich me and which will satisfy my appetite of learning. Thank you very much with all humility at my command. I again thank the bar of Madras High Court and uh, the people who are sitting over here, my family. Nandri. <laughs> my Lord, the Honorable Chief Justice, my learned sister and brother judges of this Chartered High Court, including the learned judges who have joined online from Madurai bench, my sister judge Justice Lalita from Karnataka High Court, and my brother judge Justice K. Sarath from High Court for the State of Telangana, Sri R. Shanmuga Sundaram, learned Advocate General, Sri P. S. Amal Raj, the Chairman, Bar Council of Tamil Nadu and Puducherry, Sri G. Mohanakrishnan, the President, Madras High Court Advocates Association, Sri B. R. Kamalnathan, President, Madras Bar Association, Louis Ramesh, the President, Women Lawyers Association, Sri L. Senguthuan, the President, Law Association, Learned Senior Council and members of the Bar, Law Officers, Learned Additional Advocate Generals, Registrar General and other Registrars, Judicial Officers, Officers and Staff Members of the High Court and District Courts in the State of Tamil Nadu, Family Members and Friends of Justice Vivek Kumar Singh, who swore, uh, took oath today along with me, Mr. M. Rajan Reddy, Learned Public Prosecutor, High Court of Telangana, learned advocates, friends and who came all the way from Hyderabad and Amravati to attend this ceremony. My staff from Telangana High Court, Personal Secretary, Additional Personal Secretary Rekha Rani and Dasrath, Mr. Kiran Kumar, Court Officer. My Court Masters in Telangana High Court, Hema, Venkat Lakshmi, Divya Sri and Kishan Chamar Attender. My father, Mr. M. Nageshwarao, my wife Tanuja, my children, Sai Namrata, Sai Swaroop, my sister Shanti Sri and other family members, print and electronic media, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for thank you all for the warm welcome. I wholeheartedly thank my Lord the Chief Justice for administering oath. I thank the Land Advocate General and the Presidents of the all the bar associations for their wishes bestowed on me with which show their affection towards me. I am grateful to them for welcoming me to this esteemed High Court. I know after a hectic day of work, it's very difficult for all of you to sit here after court hours for this long. I will be brief in my reply. I am proud and honored to have, the, have been entrusted with the responsibility of being a judge of this prestigious high, Chartered High Court. The Madras High Court is one of the oldest and most prestigious High Courts in India with a rich history dating back to 1862. This High Court has established a reputation of its commitment for the upholding the Constitution of India and has played a key role in shaping the legal landscape of the country. Its contribution to the legal system of the country has been immense. It has been at the forefront of landmark judgments that have had a far-reaching impact on society. The judiciary plays a crucial role in upholding the rule of law and protecting the rights and freedoms of all individuals. An advocate is an integral part of the administration of justice. A successful lawyer has always been held in high esteem not because he has succeeded in accumulating unlimited wealth, but because of his knowledge, wisdom, brilliant intellect, and court craft. The Madras High Court is very fortunate to have legal luminaries of high degree of intellect and legal acumen. I hail from a village named Cherla, named Cherla of as well Kamam district of Telangana state, where I studied from my primary to intermediate. Thereafter, I graduated from Sir Siaradi College, Eluru of Andhra Pradesh. Then I did active cultivation for two years and then, as per wish of my mother, did LLB at Nanded, Maharashtra State. After enro enrolling as an advocate in the year 1994, I joined in the chambers of my paternal uncle and senior advocate, Mr. M. R. K. Chaudhary, who gave me all the opportunity, freedom and guidance till the year 2004. In the year 2005, I became independent and practiced at Hyderabad in all courts till the year 2022. 
with the blessings of Almighty, the Collegium headed by Justice Hima Kohli Garu, the then Chief Justice of High Court of Telangana and presently Judge Supreme Court of India, proposed my name for appointment as a Judge of Telangana High Court and the Collegium of the Honorable Supreme Court, headed by Honorable Justice. N. V. Ramana Garu, the then Chief Justice of India, were kind enough to recommend my name for appointment as Judge of Telangana High Court. I once again express my deep gratitude and sincere thanks, th sincerely thank them for showering their blessings on me. I hope and trust I have discharged my duties as Judge of Telangana High Court for about 20 months to the best of my ability and in terms of the oath taken by me on 24th March 2022 and, try, and I try my level best to continue the same in this esteemed High Court and will stand before you to seek your judgment on the day of leaving this High Court. The legal profession is known to be a noble profession as lawyers are interested with the enormous task of upholding justice. While I was at the bar, I enjoyed each and every moment. The kind of joy, sense of satisfaction that one derives in the profession is uncomparable to any other profession. In this profession, Every day is a new experience as you have an opportunity to address the concerns of people who are in need of justice. The smile on the face of the client when he gets a favorable order keeps the lawyers motivated all through. The Madras High Court Bar is known to be strong, independent and very learned. I would like to assure that my relationship with the bar would be friendly. Bar is my birthplace. I will always have that affection to the bar. This institution has a glorious past and a bright future. I try my level best to make my contribution to the best of my ability to add value to this institution during my tenure as judge of this court. I thank everyone who shaped me to this position as I am today. I thank my former colleagues, my, my colleagues, my former colleagues, Justice Lalita, Karnataka High Court, Justice Sarath, Judge Telangana High Court, who have taken pains to come here personally, other family members, friends, well-wishers and advocates who are present here to greet me personally. I am grateful to them for coming all the way on their busy working day. I also thank Mr. T. Vengadeshwara, Registrar, who has been officially asked to accompany me. I also personally thank all those who are watching this ceremony online. I once again thank my, my Lord, the Chief Justice, my colleague judges of this High Court and also the colleague judges at Madurai Bench for wholeheartedly welcoming me, welcoming me to their judicial family. I am excited to begin this journey with you all. Thank you all once again for your wonderful presence at my swearing in ceremony. I wish you all very, the very best and have a good day. And I assure you that by the time when I get an opportunity to speak, give a lecture like this, speak, address you, I'll try to address you all in Tamil. Thank you. Jai Hind.